I would like to greet everyone a blessed day in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is uh, Jomar Alaban, and I'm a faculty at the Don Mariano Marcos Memorial State University. And thank you for having me in the fourth international conference on innovative research across disciplines. I would like to present my research entitled Understanding the Pedagogical Dilemma Using the CAP, Knowledge, Attitude, and Practice Approach, What Will You Use? And I uh, would like to discuss this um, educational research briefly and uh, I hope that everyone would get the gist and the essence of this specific research. As an introduction, according to Bomik et al. 2013, the use of proper pedagogy is crucial for effective teaching. But uh, we know that um, as far as authentic learning is concerned, it's not just the content and the pedagogy that we are concerned about. Uh, this also covers technology and other aspects that would um, uh, w that would cover the holistic strategy to achieve authentic learning. And um, according to Huawei and Grossman, 1989, uh, pedagogy is a form of practical knowledge that is utilized by educators to guide their decisions and actions in subject-focused classrooms. So in this diagram, you see here that uh, if we are concerned about the what, we talk about the content knowledge. But if we're concerned about the how, we're concerned about the pedagogical knowledge. And this particular research is focused on the pedagogical knowledge. Now for this uh, study, uh, I made a novel framework, theoretical and conceptual framework. And on the first stage, it says there, uh, it is the knowledge level where uh, it would answer the question, what? Okay. And then the second stage would be uh, the attitude of the educator towards a certain pedagogy. It will um, answer the question, will you? And for the final stage of this CAP or the Knowledge Attitudes Practice Approach, the final stage is um, the practice stage. Are they going to practice or utilize that specific pedagogy? So if we complete the sentence, it says there, what will you use? So it covers the three aspects of the CAP approach, the knowledge, the attitudes, and practice. And uh, in this research, the four uh, commonly used pedagogies were covered, the lecture method, cooperative learning, inquiry-based learning, learning with emphasis on communication skills. And uh, on this inverted triangle, you see here that uh, these, uh, the, the what will you use or the knowledge, attitudes, practice approach is iterative. So this indicates that um, the, uh, uh, an educator has the option to either use or not use a pedagogy based on uh, his or her level of knowledge, his attitude or her attitude toward that particular pedagogy, and uh, his or her decision to use that specific pedagogy. So again, I'm going to, uh, um, I have investigated the lecture method, cooperative learning method, inquiry-based learning, and learning with emphasis on communication skills. And the objectives basically are to evaluate the level of awareness and attitudes and uh, the utilization of the four commonly used teaching pedagogies and to evaluate whether these are affected by uh, sex, age, work status, educational attainment, and length of service. Finally, to craft a synergistic pedagogical model that may be adapted for an enhanced learning experience for this bachelor's of secondary education department. Even it could be in, in the region or in the national level or maybe in the global level. And for the methodology, I use an educational descriptive quantitative design. Uh, the sampling is purposive and the instrument is a, is a cap liaison instrument formulated based on a published study of Abanet al. And which was methodically based on a completed study of Anderson uh, last 2011. And for the data interpretation and statistical analysis, I use percentage for the knowledge, uh, weighted means for attitudes and practices. And for, um, for part one, uh, you'll see here, uh, in table one rather, you see here that um, the, the faculty members, respondents, 
were investigated on their awareness on the various teaching pedagogies and you see that uh, they are aware of these various pedagogies but it's interesting to see that they are just moderately aware on the lecture method and uh, for table two you'll see here that um, all the, the uh, I mean in general the faculty members on the BSAD department the bachelor's secondary education department are uh, have a positive attitude towards lecture, cooperative learning, inquiry-based learning, and uh, and learning with emphasis on communication skills. However, we see that they they strongly agree that the best of these pedagogies uh, is the cooperative learning uh, pedagogy. Now, for the third table, see here the utilization, and we see that uh, that whatever is the attitude of these faculty members, you, we can see here that it translated from the attitude or the behavior towards these pedagogies. These were translated to how they use or the extent of utilization of these uh, pedagogies by the faculty members, and we see here that uh, they would prefer to use cooperative learning above the other pedagogies listed. And in table four, you see here um, when they are grouped according to sex, uh, the only significant difference observed is the uh, use of uh, of the uh, learning with emphasis on communication skills, where uh, female faculty members were noticed to to have been uh, were not noticed to have been using this specific pedagogy more in their classroom compared to male faculty members. And for um, when they're grouped according to age. 21 to 30, uh, 31 to 40, 41 to 50, 50 above. See that there's no significant difference when um, in the knowledge, attitudes, and practices of these respondents. And um, for uh, table six, when they're grouped according to work status, contractual, temporary, and permanent, we see that the only significant difference um, or th the only uh, a column or row where there is significant difference is on the knowledge specifically on cooperative learning which means that uh, in this table it means that uh, the faculty members having a permanent position have a greater knowledge on pedag on these on the pedag pedagogies on the different um, uh, strategies uh, teaching strategies but specifically on cooperative learning so that those who are permanent would have 93% um, knowledge or understanding um, on this specific approach. And the rest, we see that there are no significant differences. When they're grouped according to, to the highest educational attainment, we see that there are no significant difference on the um, when they're grouped into bachelor's, master's, and doctorate degree as far as the knowledge, attitudes, and practices are concerned. And uh, for the last uh, table, we see here uh, that there are also no significant difference, differences when they are grouped according to the length of service. And so what I did next here is um, to, uh, to uh, propose a pedagogical model which may be useful uh, for the besaid um, faculty members for for an enhanced learning and teaching experience and uh, we will still adapt the um, what will you know iterative um, liaison and um, since we notice that uh, the traditional uh, lecture method is still um, being used widely, but at the same time they have, uh, you know, um, lesser attitudes, attitude and uh, attitude towards it compared to the other learner-centered uh, 21st century methods. Uh, I propose a synergistic combination of the cooperative learning and the lecture method, and this theoretical synergism uh, can be investigated to see uh, if if uh, it can be a more effective strategy than having them uh, separated. As a conclusion, we notice that the respondents are highly aware of the three learner-centered pedagogies, and they're most they have the most positive attitude on cooperative learning. And uh, for the extent of utilization, it appears that it's highest for cooperative learning as well. Uh, but it's interesting that um, uh, the the faculty members 
have the least positive attitude on, on the lecture method, but it still is the second most utilized among the four pedagogies. As a recommendation, we need a larger scale study to see uh, if there would be differences as far as uh, the utili utilization of these pedagogies are concerned. And evaluation of other synergistic pedagogies can are also recommended. And to explore other 21st century uh, teaching and learning pedagogies are essential. And these are the references of this particular study, and I'd like to uh, give the highest praise, glory, and honor to our Lord Jesus Christ uh, for the successful research. Thank you uh, to Don Mariano Marcos Memorial State University for funding this study. God bless us all. Good morning.